Hello Master Tax here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to have a look at a battle from the Tier 7 American Heavy Your Tank. It is the M2Y. If you enjoy what you see, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So before we get into the action, I'll show you my crew and equipment that I'm currently using on this tank. My crew on this tank aren't too bad, all under the third skill. The equipment I'm using in the special survivability slot is vent. Then I've got a gun rammer and a vertical stabilizer. On field modifications, I have maxed this out so I get a permanent bonus of plus 3% to vehicle hit points, haven't fiddled with any other modifications. So now, let's have a look at it in action. Today I'm playing on Pearl River. It's an encounter battle which means both teams are attacking the same base. And I've got the 6-9 matchmaking and I'm top tier today. And I'm also platooned up with my friends El Skinto in the Tiger 1 and Mad McNeil in the VZ-44-1. So when I play an encounter battle, I don't see the point really of pushing this far away from the cap. If you want to win the battle and win the battle quick, just head straight to the cap and if a lot of your teammates push that way, you can just cap out basically. So if you're struggling for wins, you want to get a couple of wins under your belt and you get an encounter battle, just go and cap out, get them wins. But if you're in the top tier heavy and a little bit confident, I think we're quite confident since we're in a platoon of three. You can just go and have a little bit fun. That's what the game's all about. So we've decided to go where the heavies generally go. And I've taken the top end because I have got gun depression. So I'm just cresting the ridge. Key of A2 went straight into his turret. He did get a shot into us, but it's not really that much. 135 damage. El Skinto has joined us in the Tiger 1. So now I'm just going to crest. I should be able to penetrate a turret of a Tiger 1. No problems. And I will bounce some shots from him. And just as I said it, I failed to do it. Didn't really think there was any armour on a Tiger 1 turret. But there's one shot into him. Just pull him back. It's not looking great at the moment. And the base is a little bit vulnerable. So we don't really want to mess about here too long. So I've managed to get a shot into the Kia V2. Maddy has pushed the bottom line. And there is some pressure on that Kia V2 now. So I'm just going to push in. I knew that to take him out. So I want to get to this corner. I know there's a Tiger 1 round this corner. So if we can quickly take him out. Then we can push closer to the base. So I've managed to get a shot in there. And here's my teammates pushing up behind us. You can see on the minimap. So I'm playing hold down again. There's another shot into him. He's firing HE. He'll struggle to penetrate. Although there's a big cupola on the top of my turret. Which like all American tanks is a weak spot. So I know they'll take that tiger out. So I'll start to turn around. Not sure where this tiger's been. But I know I need to push back. The middle is lost and they're pushing behind us. But I did spot that on the minimap. So the Tiger 1 shot into him, pulled back, used my turret armour, lower plate, there's the second one, pulled back, he did penetrate there though, I'm not indestructible, and I get a third, lower plate, there's the third, my friend Maddie's pushed up the supporters, El Skinto's just below us, so the three of us pushing in against one tank, we shouldn't have much trouble, missed that shot, gun handling, letting us down there. So we're all pushing in, he doesn't know where to point, he's aiming for El Skinto because there's two up here, me and Maddy. So they'll finish him off, so now I'm trying to push around the corner. We are still a little concerned in case the enemy try and cap the base. We do have KV-1S there covering the base. So there's an SU-100 M1 trying to push around the back of us, there's an IS trying to get our artillery see if I can help them I don't think so I think they're gonna get taken out but I'm getting some shots in it's not looking too promising for our team at the moment we ear tanks down to the enemy's four but the hit points are close can I get another shot into that ah yes it went behind the ridge so I can't so I'm pushing a little bit higher I'm hoping my teammate 
and the Kia V2 can take that SU100 M1 out. They are a little bit awkward with the armour. So I'm just pushing round this corner, see if we can win the middle, start advancing towards the cap. There's a nice shot into that little striv. So he's taken out, it's only one striv in the middle. So I'm just turning around, see if El Skinto needs a hand with that SU100 M1, and he doesn't, he's been taken out. So I'm pushing down the bottom towards me spawn and then I'm going to see if I can get a shot into that IS around the corner and I can see him just waiting to zoom in. There's a nice shot into him, he's a one shotter. There's a little star next to the IS so I take it he's stock. Should be able to get him and take him out. There's an A25, that's good to spot him. We are clawing this back a little bit. Now with the position we are in, and our teammates in the Tiger 1, the Kia V2. If the enemy, three of them, you could push the two artillery. If the push into the cap were just too far away to reset the cap. So they could easy win if they do that. So I'm not sure why they're trying to face us. It's probably because they're 10-7 up and they're feeling confident. But we are three top tier heavies. And there is another top tier heavy, a Tiger 1 still alive. So they are being a little bit overconfident, I would say. So I'm trying to push in and pressure this E25 and manage to take him out. His view range and his camo rating will be a little bit of a problem for us. Especially if you use that tank correctly, sat in a bush, sniped us. But he hasn't and he's been taken out, so we don't have to worry about that. So I'm trying to push towards the T-34 85M. There is one person capping the base. So we are going to have to head towards the cap. So I bounce the shot from the T-34 85M. He has a low tier tank, but a good one at that. So I'm just going to try and push up and keep him pressuring him. So I'm pulling back after I fired my shot, waiting for the reload, then pushing up again. Yeah, MX-13, 75 is it? 57, just pushing. El Skinto looks like he's going to get him. So now we're really clawing it back. There's a second shot into the T-34, 85M. Can I get to take him out? He's just sitting around the corner. There's another shot. He's firing gold now, so he's penetrating us. He'll have no problem with me home. There's a second shot. I actually bounced it, but I've managed to take him out. So now pushing towards the carp, and I'll use this opportunity to tell you a little bit about this tank. I can say that I do like this tank, I like the full line. I pretty much do like all American tank, wait, well, the majority of American tanks. I just like the player style in them. They're a bit of jack of all trades, but great at nothing. So I'll tell you about the mobility, and it's nothing special, but it's not the worst. You do get a forward top speed of 40 kilometers an hour and then a reverse speed of 15 kilometers an hour the special thing about these your tanks i can tell you is if you get tracked you do have an auxiliary track you could see it. so you still have mobility limited at that but you can still move if you've been tracked which is a really nice feature on these tanks so we've reset the cap only three tanks left, two of them artillery, so I'm just going to push straight through the cap and see if I can spot the artillery. And as I do, I'll tell you about my view range. In the view range, as you can see on the minimap, the circles, it isn't the greatest. With my crew and equipment, I've managed to get it to 400 metres, which is 45 metres shy of the max. So I've just had a discussion with my teammates and we're a little bit ambitious here we could just cap game over we've won but what we've noticed is i've got three kills el skinto and maddie have both got two kills three enemy tanks left if they get a kill each we can get the brothers in arms award so they are sitting waiting for that kia v1s and hopefully an artillery has moved or maybe that and flushed them out so I'm heading for the artillery because they haven't got many hit points left so it'd be better if I can take at least one of the artillery out and hope that one of them can take the other out so I'm going to try and pressure the artillery out of this position and there's the M44 just zooming in that's a great artillery one shot in 
didn't take him out he's gonna take two shots and here's the second shot and there it is and as I keep on pushing I'll now tell you about the gun on this tank and it is a 90 millimeter gun it has 202 millimeters of penetration with 240 alpha damage with my crew and equipment I've got an aim time of 2.1 seconds which isn't the worst but it's not great and my dispersion is 0.37 which is quite poor and then I've got a reload time of 7.23 seconds which gives us a DPM of 1990 and as I say is, with American tanks you get really good gun depression on pretty much all of them so you do get the 10 degrees of gun depression on this tank so back to the battle and El Skinto has got his third kill so we just need Maddie to take that KV-1S out it's the last tank in the battle and the no way he was last spotted so they're pushing in and I'm trying to flank round the back so now I'll take this opportunity to tell you the last main stat and that is your armour on your hull, on the front of the hull you get 165.1 millimetres which is quite decent for a tier 7 and then 76.2 on the side 38.1 on the rear and then on your turret you get 228.6 millimeters on the front of your turret which is really good at this tier 76.2 on the side 38.1 on the rear so we've been a little bit ambitious as you can see my friend El Skinto has been taken out and if one of your tanks, one of your teammates in your tanks does get taken out you can't get the Brothers in Arms award anymore. So Maddie is just facing that KV-1S and he is a one shotter and he's been taken out. So now I'm pushing in, pretty much got even hit points with the KV-1S but we should win the battle in any case because the Tiger 1 is capping but I'm just pushing round see if I can take this KV-1S out avenge my teammate so I've managed to get one shot into him tried to pull back to get hull down but he's managed to get a shot into us and then I've taken him out just in time because we've capped the base out I'm unable to show you the stats because the replay didn't upload to what replay but I can tell you that it was a master ace tanker and that's for me 4811 damage, 325 assist and 5 kills. So I'd like to thank you for watching today's battle, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did please don't forget to like and comment and if you're new to the channel please subscribe, there's a little icon in the bottom left hand corner. Cheers.